Weebly. How to add columns and adding images to text. Or, if you're a Weebly user, what happened to the columns and element and the image and text element? Hi, Freddie Fulton here. Remember these elements in Weebly? The columns element and the image to text element. Well, they're gone, so you can stop looking for them. So what now? Well, we'll show you the new way to add columns as well as adding an image with text. These are actually some pretty good improvements from Weebly, so let's take a look at Weebly and see what they've done with these two elements and how you uh, perform these functions now. Adding columns in Weebly. You save a step here when adding columns from the old method, and you have way more flexibility. Now you just drag a new element over to where you want, the, want a column, and Weebly will automatically create a column for you, so that's very cool. You can then drag the column divider to change the size of each section, It'll snap to columns from other parts of your page automatically for appearance. Or you can hold down shift and you can slide the column divider anywhere you want. It's very flexible. So this is awesome stuff and a great ad by Weebly. Adding images to text has also changed in Weebly. As we showed earlier, this element is completely gone. But uh, now you can just add an image anywhere. It's way more flexible in the old method and uh, just totally rocks. So you just drag the image element in and add a picture to whatever content you want. Uh, I won't go into the details of adding the image. That's easy and hasn't changed. Uh, so this is super cool. There's, you can just drag it from any place in your website as well and the image will pop up there and then you have the option of dragging it anywhere in the content. Uh, so very cool. There's a slight issue that you can't delete that image now that it's in your, your section, but if you drag it outside of that content area, uh, it allows you to just uh, delete it as you normally would delete anything in, in Weebly. It's weird, and I'm sure it'll be fixed shortly. So you can add your image after the fact, whereas in the past you couldn't add an image right onto text unless you used the image and text element up front. So this is a great change by Weebly uh, here on the new image and text functionality, so another good add. So Weebly added a brand new element to the spacer element. So this is kind of like the old columns element in Weebly, but it's uh, way more flexible. So you can add space anywhere by dragging the spacer element into the web page, and it'll create a blank spot. It helps you know, with designing your page, or just to create some blank space. And so you just drag it uh, any length or width you want, and it'll create that space within your page. So a nice little feature here, and it's very easy. Hey, so thanks for watching. Some nice features here added by Weebly. So I hope this video helped. If you found this video useful, uh, a thumbs up would help get the message out and we'd really appreciate it. Also, if you want to see more updates on Weebly or some other great content right to your inbox, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And even if it's unrelated to Weebly feature, I'll get you out or help you out and get back to you. Thanks for watching.